This concealer's viral. Oh my, so gross. What am I doing? What's this? It looks a bit basic. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be testing some new in makeup bits. We've got some drugstore stuff, some high-end stuff. I've got some Boohoo makeup. I've got some Rem Beauty bits. I've got the KVD Good Apple Concealer that I've seen so many people talk about. Some potential Revolution Charlotte Tilbury dupes. There's quite a lot of good stuff in this video and I'm very excited to put it on my face. I don't know if the lighting looks a bit overexposed. It's a really bright, sunny day outside, which I absolutely love, but I don't know if it washes everything out a bit. Hopefully I can fix it in editing. If you're not following my socials, my TikTok and Twitter are at Soph Does Life. My Instagram is at Soph. Let's just get into it. Just a quick little mention, if any of you guys are a fan of peach scented stuff, Wild Deodorant have brought back their peach Bellini scent. This little section is sponsored by Wild. I still have not touched a single other deodorant. I have not gone back to my antiperspirants. And if you guys didn't know, Wild is a natural deodorant. I've done a couple sponsorships with them before. I do have a discount code, which is Soph Peach, which gets you 20%, I think, off their whole website. I would just very quickly show you how to put it together but it is a natural deodorant it is cruelty free vegan it is aluminium free it doesn't clog your pores these little cartridges are compostable so you literally just get like the case and then you just keep refilling this and buying the refills so it's a lot better for the environment as well oh, i actually think this is my favorite scent that they've ever done so you just want to make sure that this is wound down all the way to the bottom you just pinch these two little side pieces pull it out like that take your little cartridge just put it on and then and there you go oh whoa that's too much <laughs> And there you go, there's your deodorant. And then you can just put it on under your armpits. I know for some people, natural deodorants can take a couple of weeks for your body to sort of adjust to them. So there might be a bit of an adjustment period, but I have had such good feedback from some of you guys that have also tried this. It stops me from smelling bad. The fragrances are really nice. They have a peach scent that doesn't irritate my armpits. Bold claim, it is the best deodorant I've ever used. So I will leave a link down below. For my primer today, I've got the new Benefit Professional Light Primer. I think this has only been out for a few weeks, but it's supposed to be a blurring primer that is light as air. 73% water-based formula. It sounds pretty nice, actually. <laughs> it looks pretty thick. Oh, wow. What a strange texture. Yeah, it's pretty, like... <laughs> sturdy what's the word i don't even know what the word is it just feels quite thick it feels really cooling oh that is so strange that is really weird it's like quite thick to blend out but it feels like as you blend it out it almost starts to feel a little bit wet almost i did put on quite a lot but i feel like i need a bit more oh it definitely feels a lot more moisturizing than the original professional i wouldn't say it's a moisturizing primer but it's just more moisturizing than the original this one actually feels so much nicer not gonna lie. That is a really interesting texture. Like it still feels smoothing like the original one does and has that sort of like silicone-y feel, but my skin feels a little bit tacky almost. I quite like that. It feels nice. Definitely prefer that to the original professional. For my foundation or like my base, I've got the Sculpted by Amy Connolly Tint and Glow Skin Enhancer. This has got SPF 30 in it and I've got the shade four. I don't know if this is going to be similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's it called? The Charlotte Tilbury thing. <laughs> Flawless filter! I think you just saw my brain processing in lifetime. Oh, it does look kind of similar. It's a squeezy tube. Oh, it says mineral sunscreen. Hyaluronic acid, niacinamide. I have a feeling this might be a bit too dark for me, but we'll see. Oh, I've got a brand new fresh marshmallow sponge by Coco Cosmetics by Chloe. How satisfying does this look? Okay, let's try one side with a sponge oh my gosh you know what guys this looks so similar to the charlotte Tilbury flawless filter i think you can get this brand from boots is that any better yeah can you see it's really giving my skin a glow it's got some sort of like shimmer in there like a very light sort of shimmer let's try the other side with a brush both sides have gone on nicely, actually. I think I've definitely got a little bit more coverage on this side. It is very glowy, so I'm gonna go and go ahead and say if you do have really oily skin and you don't like to look glowy, then you're not gonna like this. And also, I do actually think this shade is a little bit dark. But I think the concealer will lighten it up. This is pretty much natural lighting because um, I've got my curtains open fully and it's really bright outside. But this is what it looks like. It's very glowy. 
feel like it's emphasizing my pores a little bit. I don't think I actually needed that much. I think I put on a little bit too much. I would definitely need a bit of powder through my T-zone. I quite like it. Next, we have got the concealer. I have been dying to test this. This is the KVD Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. KVD are smart with their marketing because they paid some influencers to talk about this on TikTok and be like, I think this concealer is gonna go viral. And so then everyone on TikTok then picks it up and says, this concealer's viral. Do you know what I mean? But I would say that now this concealer is pretty viral because they've worked with some really big creators. And I have got the shade Light 109. I really like the packaging. I like it a lot. You know what, KVD have got some really good products and I love the look of this doe foot. It's like a little foot. <laughs> it's in the name, but it just looks like a little shoe. Let's apply some. Oh, okay, I've just put on way too much. Let's see on this side if I can just use like this amount. But oh, that doe foot just feels so nice. Oh my. Okay, I've definitely, holy crap. I definitely put on too much. Wow, that is some good coverage. Oh my God, even with this small amount, pretty much done the exact same thing. Okay, straight away, I love, I love it. I'm just gonna put some sort of all over my face to try and lighten up the foundation. Let's put some under here. Oh my God, yeah, the coverage is pretty crazy. It does seem to dry quite fast, so you wanna work with it quite quickly. I am very impressed. I love that concealer. I really, really like it. We have got some exciting cheek products. The first one being Boohoo Beauty Contour Stick. This is a buildable cream contour. I've got the shade 01 Sculpted, but Boohoo have come out with more makeup. They used to have makeup, but the new stuff that they've come out with looks a lot better than their old range of stuff. So the packaging is just nude. And, oh, whoa, that's so fast. I literally twisted it a bit and it just went whoop. This is the contour stick. It's sort of angled. Please be good. Oh wow, it's very pigmented. I'm a bit scared to put on too much because this shade does look quite dark actually. I think this is the lightest one. It's quite cool toned. And then let's use the little edge. Oh wow, you can get very precise with it. To do me news. I just love testing new cream makeup products. Ooh. That is one skinny nose. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, it's not as creamy as I sort of thought it would be. It's not like uh, like one, two, three, and then it's blended, but it is definitely blending. Hmm. Yeah, it is a little bit, like you definitely have to go over it a bit in order to get it to blend. Wait, what on my forehead? That was so much easier. Um, You sort of have to push it a little bit harder, like be a little bit more rough with it than other <laughs> contour sticks. When it's actually blended out, it looks pretty nice. I don't know if you guys can see here, I do have like a little patch of dryness just here on my forehead where I've got like a little bit of flaky skin and I feel like in the camera I can see it's like a tiny, it's clinging to that area just a tiny bit. It's decent. It was a little bit longer to blend, but I mean, it's all right. They do also have liquid blushes and I've also got this from Revolution. I saw this and instantly thought, um, hello, this looks like it could be a potential dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. It is the Revolution Bright Light Highlighter and it's called Divine Dark Pink. One thing that I've got to say, I hate how this comes out like it just looks so gross it's all these little like i don't know it comes out in like little balls of product let's put some on my cheek i think you can't really get the same sort of dots like the charlotte tilbury one because it just does just comes out in these weird little dots but let's put on like this much i don't know whether i need to shake it because it's kind of just stuck in that line this had the potential to be so good a little bit more on there i think that's the problem it needs a bit more like liquidiness to it because it's quite like a thick and sticky yeah no it's just sticking in that one spot i feel like now that i've blended it out on camera it looks all right but up close i don't really know hang on i need to sort of shade this i don't really know how well you can sort of see I don't even know if it's picking up on camera. It's just a bit tricky to blend. I've definitely got a lot of colour on there. You can see the pink and it looks quite pretty, but it's almost just a bit too thick and sticky that it sort of like sticks in a few patches, which is so disappointing. Has anyone tried it? Is yours also quite thick and sticky? Which is a shame. Okay, so let's try the Boohoo blushes. I've got the shade Peachy and Cute. Peachy looks 
peachy. So peachy is this one, cute is the other one, the slightly more pink toned one. They feel quite lightweight. I'm gonna try peachy. It's a little bit messy. Hang on, let me just give it a shake. Oh boy, <laughs> that is very liquidy. Okay, uh, let's start with that much. Oh, it's very bright. It's quite sheer, but it's got a lot of color at the same time. I don't know. Does that make any sense? Like it's not heavy at all and it blends out quite sheer, but it's, I think because it's so bright in the thing, it's, it looks like sheer, but very bright on your cheeks and like very pigmented. I don't actually think I need any more than that. I think that's more than enough. I just wish that my other cheek matched it because now this looks like a bit of a mess. Let me just try and blend over this other cheek. I might actually go back in with the concealer. Um, I really like that. I wasn't expecting it to be that bright let's put a little bit more peachy color on this side just so that they match also it's just kind of blended in with the rest of my foundation it's not like taken off any of my makeup underneath this cheek is still so patchy and it's really annoying me so let's just try and ignore that side of my face also i literally just used a couple drops i feel like that squeezy tube will last me forever right let me just quickly set my face oh that's a bit much Yeah, this cheek looks so patchy. It's like a layer that I want to just... Yeah, look, I can literally... I can literally scrape it off. It's that thick. Why did I do that? I now might not be able to fix it. I think I'm just making the situation worse. I'm going to try and go over it with a bit of the Fenty powder foundation. Okay, yeah, phew. That's kind of worked. For my bronzer, I have got this, which is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. And I've got the shade Bronze 1. I think they do this in four different bronze shades. So I've got the lightest one. Matte Radiance, those kind of words don't really tend to go together. This looks beautiful. Right up my street because it's very smooth. It's got like the tiniest bit of sheen in it and it's a baked bronzer. Kind of reminds me of the look of the Kiko bronzer that I absolutely love. It's just sort of giving me like a, ugh, this patch of dry skin is gonna be really problematic, but it's giving me a very light sort of wash of bronzy radiance. Yeah, you can see on my forehead. Oh, what am I doing? What's this? You can see on my forehead, it's got a bit of a glow. I think I did bring it down a bit far over here, but oh my God, I think I love it. I was worried that from the color, I thought it might be a bit too orange, but actually on the face, it looks really nice. Just gonna add a bit more contour to my nose. I have got these from Iconic London. Honestly, these look absolutely beautiful, do they not? These are the Silk Glow Duos, and I've got Rose Glow and Coral Glow. I do actually think that this coral one will probably be a bit too bright. I'm gonna go for the more pinky toned down lighter one, I think. So let's take the blush first. Let's just dip in a little bit. Oh, that is such a beautiful colour. I feel like I'm putting extra blush on to compensate for the fact that my camera is quite washed out, but that is a really nice blush. It's not overly pigmented. It's got a tiny bit of a sheen to it. So it just gives you almost like a little bit of a healthy glow, but it's, it's again, it's that sort of like radiance rather than actual shimmer. Let's try the highlighter side. Wow. Again, it's that sort of like glowing from within type glow and it is so smooth. This might be one of my favorite products from Iconic London. I'm very sort of like hit or miss with their makeup. Some of their stuff is really nice. Other stuff I think is just a bit overhyped and like some stuff I just didn't really get on with, but this is actually really beautiful. I really like this little duo. For my eyebrows, I've got some more stuff from Boohoo Beauty. I've got the brow shape kit and the brow sculpt kit. I'm not the biggest fan of the packaging to be honest like i don't really think there's any need for it to come in these little pouches don't think you can recycle these okay so the brow shape set comes with a clear brow gel brow pomade and double-ended eyebrow brush you know what the packaging's actually really cute it's all this like nude sort of color there's a brow pomade i've got the shade light brown oh that does not look light brown but it looks like the perfect sort of color to match my hair actually so that's good um the brush actually feels all right it's pretty thin and then it's got like an angled spoolie on one side and then the clear brow gel oh wow look at the size of this wand how are you supposed to 
It's like the size of my eyebrow. And the brow sculpt kit contains brow pencil, brow wax, and brow brush. Why did I just have a brow wax? One sec, let me just go check downstairs and check that I haven't left it down there. I'm confused. I can't find the brow brush or the brow pencil. Let's try the brow wax, because I'm interested to see if it's kind of like soap brow type thing. So let's give it a bit of a spritz. Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> There's literally a bit of plastic on it. I was about to spray onto a piece of plastic. It just looks completely clear. It looks like it's an empty tin, but I'm sure it's not. <laughs> Let's take the angled brush and just rub it all in there. Oh, it doesn't feel too thick. That is actually, it feels really nice. That feels really good. Oh my goodness, it's like properly stuck up my eyebrows. Wow, yeah, that's really worked. I've got one eyebrow hair that's literally sticking. Not anymore. It feels like a really good brow soap. Let's now just go over them a little bit with the pomade. It looks quite pigmented. What I'm gonna do actually is like sort of dab off the excess on my hand. Just like run some through my brows. It would definitely be a good idea to do the brow soap before your foundation so that it doesn't sort of mess it all up. You know what? Brow soap and pomade is actually quite a good combination because you don't really need a whole lot to actually fill them in. I think this color's a pretty good match. Um, maybe my eyebrows look a little bit crazy, but I think I really like those eyebrow products. My brows look really fluffy. Let's see if Boohoo delivers with their eyeshadows because these are the ones that I'm a bit sort of like, hmm, about. So I've got one of their small eyeshadow palettes, which is a nine shade palette. This one is called Metallic Mood. Ah. Uh, it looks a bit basic. Let's swatch a few of the shimmers because it is called metallic mood. You would expect it to have decent shimmers. Hmm, oh, okay. You know what? They're actually really pigmented. They're very smooth. They're not particularly like foily and shimmery. I'm just gonna prime my eyes. You know what? I might actually eat my words here because I've said that it doesn't look like anything special, but I did think that with the blush and stuff, so I've just primed my eyelids and I'm gonna start with, let's start with this one, the sort of like middle matte brown. I'm just gonna put some of this in my outer corner area. Oh, that's decently pigmented, isn't it? Yeah, that's really well pigmented actually. I feel like my camera's having trouble focusing. So far, so good. Let's then just take this shade to try and blend out those edges a little bit. You know what? So far, they are actually blending pretty nicely. Yeah, I feel like I've got a pretty good blend going on. I don't think I've got my shapes particularly even, but pretty nice. Next, I'm just gonna take the dark brown color. I'm gonna try and use this as liner. But I kind of want to do like a double wing. Uh, it's working pretty decently as liner. It's gone like a little bit patchy. There's a couple bits that I need to go over, like just here. I'm gonna try and do like a double wing, just coming from underneath like that. And then I'm gonna bring that dark shade down onto my lower lash line. Just taking that medium brown to sort of like smudge this out. I just realized I did my liner before I'd even done like shimmer in my inner, like on my lids. I think I'm just gonna go for the gold in the middle. Actually, let's go for this one, like the more taupey shimmer. Yeah, I just feel like that's not really doing much. It's more just like a wash of shimmer. Or well, let's try this sort of like shimmery champagne. Hmm. Okay, it's working a bit better with my finger, but they're just quite, they're just not really giving me much, which is a shame because the mattes were pretty nice. I think it could be because I don't have too much of that sticky base left on my inner corner, so it's not really got a whole lot to stick to, but I thought they would just sort of like stick. Hmm. It's just getting darker and darker. I mean, it's called Metallic Mood, and if anything, I was more impressed <laughs> with the mattes than I was the shimmers. Um, let's just take this pale, palest, gold here and put some in my inner corners yeah the shimmers are just really not very shimmery they're just a little bit sort of chalky so i'm going for something a bit euphoria inspired i got myself some gems on amazon and i'm just going to stick a couple of these like in between the gaps because i saw the makeup artist for euphoria she's absolutely incredible donnie davy and she's done a lot of these like double liner kind of looks and i did see one that she did which was a look inspired for cassie which had the gems like in between the double liner so i am gonna do just that for mascara 
I've got this. This is not what it looks like. This is the Diego Dalla Palma My Happy Toy Mascara. They did have the Toy Boy Mascara, but this one is obviously like a newer adapted version. I don't know why they need to make the packaging this big, but this one has got a very different brush. It's like a plastic, plastic bristle brush. Um, and it's got a slight curve to it. And I think this one has got like properties in it that are supposed to help actually condition your eyelashes. But the first one of this mascara was absolutely incredible. So I can only hope that this one is similar. Oh, wow. The only thing is the brush is so big that I keep poking myself in the eye. It looks really good on this eye, but my left eye has gone a little bit clumpy looking. It's quite a dry formula, which I like because it's good at giving volume, but it is a little bit clumpy. So I'm just going back in with a bit more powder. I think the eyes did actually turn out pretty cool. I mean, the gems kind of make the look, if I'm honest. I have got some Rem Beauty lipsticks, but I got sent some of their lipsticks for a Valentine's package. So this is the On Your Collar Matte Lipstick. This one looks the most appealing to me. It's called Bubbly. Oh, they come in like a plastic bag inside the box. It looks like a little space suit. The packaging I think is so cute. And then the actual lipstick looks like this. Oh my God, it smells unreal. That makes me want to go eat some chocolate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First, I've got a lip liner from Boohoo, which is in the shade Real Deal 04. It is a twist up lip liner. Okay, this shade actually looks quite dark. I put on a bit of this and then hopefully the lipstick can lighten it up. Ugh. Oh my god, how long have I had like crusty foundation on my lips? It's very creamy. I love a retractable lip liner. You know what, that shade is actually really nice. And then if I just put this lipstick over the top of it, I think it will lighten it up quite a lot. Oh wow. This feels so nice. It's matte, but it feels so creamy. I have a definitely overlined my lips here a bit. This look is very basic, I know. I know that it's pretty similar to looks that I have done recently, so I'm sorry if that's really boring, but I think I've discovered some pretty good new products here. The concealer, I absolutely love. The final thing that I wanna test is the Boohoo setting spray, and this is a dewy effect setting spray. I can't remember who I saw talk about this, but I've seen somebody mention this recently. Um. Let's give it a shake because it looks like it's got little bits in it. I hope it doesn't do that thing where it puts white dots all over your face. I should have tested the mist first. Okay, it's very like, hold it far back. Oh my God, I hate the mister. I wouldn't use it just for the mister. Like it's such a strong mister and I'm so used to having like a nice fine mist. My skin looks really nice actually. <laughs> yeah, I do actually think that's given me a bit of an extra glow, but it's probably a bit too much glow again. I might need to add a little bit more powder just in my T-zone. So this has been my full face of testing new makeup. Favorite thing of the video, hands down, the concealer. I'm really sorry it's a bit of a boring look. I promise my next video will be something more colorful because this just feels very safe. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it anyway. If you're wanting to check out Wild, my code is Sophpeach, which gets you 20% off. I will leave a link down below. I will also leave all of the makeup products linked down below. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye.